It was always said of Henrietta that she might be useful one day. Toby is certain of it and never leaves her behind. The two of them are attached and would always joke, we know each other better than we know ourselves. That is why, one day, Toby knew that something was wrong. Is something troubling you? he asked kindly. Don't misunderstand me, Henrietta began, but it feels as though we're on our old line. Whatever do you mean? Ever since Daisy arrived, there's been no need for us on the passenger service. I'm very grateful to Sir Topham Hatt for bringing us here, but I long to be useful and full outside of the quarry run. Henrietta looked down at her buffers. Our old line closed when passengers stopped riding with us. I'm worried that may happen again. Toby understood. Their old line had little to fall back on when hard times came, but he knew there was still work for them on the branch and was sure they'd stay useful for years to come. Don't worry, he comforted. I'll make sure nothing like our old line happens again. Certainly not being turned into a hen house, anyway. Do you promise? I promise, Toby said finally. That made it all right, and Henrietta felt better. They arranged their trucks and were soon ready to leave for the harbour. Hello! As Toby ran alongside the river, a little lorry overtook them. Henrietta sighed. Chin up, said Toby. Don't let them get you down. You never know when you'll be glad you came along. You're right, Henrietta smiled. After all, where would you be without me? Toby smiled knowingly. They reached the river station, and Toby stopped for a drink, when suddenly the station master ran up with a frantic-looking man in tow. This man's lorry has overheated in town and needs to deliver his goods to the junction. Do you think you can help? Of course, Toby's driver replied. We'll take it at Henrietta. The old coach was excited, but not when she saw what the lorry was carrying. Toby, you promised, she wailed. Toby chuckled. I know, I know. But remember our old line? You always wanted to take the traffic away from the roads. Henrietta wasn't amused, but relented as the last chicken cage was safely stored on her floorboards. The trip was an all plane sailing. The chickens flapped, squawked, and thrashed in their cages, and Henrietta was glad when it was nearly finished. Leaving their trucks at the harbour, Toby quickly made a dash for the junction, where the chickens were offloaded to wait for Edward. The driver and fireman helped the guards sweep and clean Henrietta's floorboards and cushions. They cleaned her so well, you'd hardly suspect she'd been anything but a coach. So, Toby asked, how did you enjoy being useful once again? I suppose you really never do know when you'll come in handy, she began. But for now, I think I'll be content with our runs to the quarry. 